Hi, I'm Steve Good. Welcome to the Spro Saw Workshop. Uh, in the last video that I posted on the blog, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, cutting metal with the Spro Saw, and we made a little scorpion, and I put a pattern up to uh, give you a few other things just to try out. And uh, today I'm going to continue in the metal cutting. I'm going to do another project today that requires a cutting jig. And what we're going to do is we're going to create jewelry uh, from coins. Uh, and what I'm going to do in this video is uh, make a jig that we can uh, put the coins in uh, to hold them steady as we cut them on the scroll saw. Uh, fun project, uh, makes pretty nice looking jewelry, and uh, this is legal by the way. You can cut coins as long as they're not, as long as you're not trying to defraud anybody. It's perfectly legal to cut them. So with that, uh, I'll show you what we need to make this jig, and we'll get started. Obviously, to take something this small, and in this case we're going to make a jig to cut a quarter, uh, obviously you can modify this just by changing the size of the hole that we're going to make uh, for different size coins. But to hold a quarter this small on the scroll saw would be very difficult, if not impossible, and, and to make some clean cuts. Uh, so what we need is some kind of jig to hold this quarter uh, steady as we're cutting. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a block of oak now this oak is uh, three and a half inches long and it's one and a half by one and a half in dimension. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut a couple holes in this uh, and then we're going to slice it in half and I'll show you as we go through it uh, to make a jig to hold this. Now I'm also going to use uh, a jig that we talked about previously here at Scroll Saw Workshop and that's this 3D cutting jig. And if you look on the blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and you go back to the archives, you'll find uh, the 3D cutting jig video and uh, the plans to make this. So we've already done the plans for this, but we are going to use it in this project. The other things you'll need is a 1 inch Fostner bit and a 7 8 inch Fostner bit. I'm going to use the jeweler's blades again, so you'll need some type of cutting blade. And uh, in coin cutting, you can get down to the absolute finest blades you can get your hands on. So I'm going to start out with a number two in this project, but uh, you could definitely get even smaller than this to do some detailed cutting. Also, obviously, we're going to need some coins, in this case quarters. And another thing in cutting coins that's invaluable is head-mounted magnifying glasses. So you're going to see I'm going to use that today. I uh, usually don't use magnifying when I'm cutting on the scroll saw, but on these coins, uh, I find it pretty necessary. So, with that, we'll get started. What I've done with this one half by one half by three and a half inch piece of oak is I've created a center point here on this. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here just a little bit closer. I've created, drawn a center point on this, and I'm going to take a awl and I'm going to go ahead and make myself a little starter hole. Because what we're going to do now is take this over to the drill press and we're going to cut a couple holes. And uh, you'll see when we get over there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one inch Fostner bit and I'm going to drill a hole at a depth just a little deeper than the depth of the quarter. Uh, so it's not going to be a very deep hole, obviously. It's just going to be deep enough to recess this quarter down into. Then, because of the spur on the Fostner bit, we'll have a starter hole for this one. And we're going to take the smaller bit, Fostner bit, and go ahead and drill all the way uh, through the piece of oak. Um, so I'll take us over to the bench press or the uh, drill press, and we'll get started on that. Over here at the drill press, I've gone ahead and chucked up the one inch Fostner bit. Now you want to make sure you use the one inch first because that's going to be uh, the hole that we're going to drill to the depth of a little deeper than the quarter. So I've got my punch hole already started and I'm going to take this uh, the spur of the Fostner bit and get it in that hole and again I'm going to start the uh, drill press now and we're just going to cut to a fairly shallow depth it's going to go just a little bit deeper Okay, you don't want to go too deep on this cut because uh, we want to be able to have the coin as close to the top as possible. 
Okay, now with uh, that cut, I'm going to go ahead and chuck up the 7 8 inch bit and we'll drill through the rest of the block. Got the 7 8 uh, Fostner bit installed in the drill press now. And again, if you can see this, I've still got the uh, small indention from the uh, brad point on the uh, 1 inch Fostner bit. And I'm going to use that indention to line this up dead center to the hole here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut through uh, the rest of this piece of oak. So usually before I start the, scroll, the drill press, I'll go ahead and bring it down and let it go ahead and self-center into that hole. Now, probably is a good idea to, to uh, clamp this piece to the uh, uh, drill press table. In this case, I'm, it's fairly uh, soft wood, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to hand hold it. Okay, I'm going to finish drilling through this piece. You can use your fill once you get to the bottom. You'll fill it right through. Right there, just went through. Go ahead and let that uh, bit come to a stop. And now, I'm going to zoom in here as close as I can and show you what we've got. If you can see this, what we have uh, after the hole, the outside hole, we've got a little ridge in here, uh, which is uh, what the quarter is going to set on. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll take this piece back over to uh, either uh, the table saw or the band saw, and we'll go ahead and cut it in half, and then we'll have our clamp ready. I brought our clamp over here to the uh, band saw. Now you could do this on the scroll saw also, but if you have a band saw, it's just going to make it a lot quicker. And uh, I've drawn a center line right down the middle of this block. And what I'm going to do is take the bandsaw and slice this clamp in half right down the center line. cut out and uh, what we'll do now is we'll go uh, start sanding these edges down until we can get a good clamping pressure on the quarter and I'll take you back over to the workbench and show you how we're going to do that. Okay the ideal is when we get this finished that if we put these together and drop our quarter in there the quarter is going to set on that inner ledge and what we have to do is get the outer uh, circle to clamp around this quarter so it'll be held in there nice and tight. Now you'll see now that I've cut it in half, uh, the quarter still falls right out. So what we're going to do is just take off a little bit off of each edge until we get the diameter small enough that the quarter will stay in there. And to do that, I'm going to take it over to the uh, uh, sander and uh, we'll do a little power sanding on this.